Hey babe, so I just did yesterday um, a 30 minute video watching the police speak to um, Amber Williams and I went over it and explained how I felt and, and what I was seeing spiritually. Um, at the time of watching that, I did not know who uh, the guy was that was there, but apparently that's... Um, Rich Homie Kwan's brother, Dre. Now, he says some things to me that I just can't get over. Oh, not to me, but <laughs> in the video. Um, that I just can't get over. And now, after listening to that, hearing part of her story, because I only watched half of that video, and that is literally the only video I've watched besides this little clip here. Um, so, I know there's more videos one of my friends did send me the other one. I just haven't opened it up yet. Um, I have an issue, okay? Because at this part, his brother is saying that um, he found Quan on the floor around 3 or 4 o'clock. Well, I would like to know which one was it. Was it 3 or was it 4? Because that's a big that's 60 minutes in between, right? Um, not only that, but he says he found him on the floor with um food in his mouth and his eyes wide open and then you know everybody keeps saying he took him to the to the sofa uh-uh he says he dragged him to the sofa so my thing is where did when when amber says oh you know i came downstairs and i saw like mail was knocked over like he was trying to get to the sofa to go sit down how did that happen if he didn't even take himself to the sofa you understand? And then they're saying his eyes were wide open. His brother, even when the police come in, come in, they say, hey, is this normal? And he smiles and says, yeah, that's normal. That's First he says no. Then he says, yeah, that's normal for him. I've seen him before like this. It's normal. I thought everything was okay. That's not normal. Having your eyes wide open, rolled up in the back of your head, gurgling, that death gurgle. That's not normal. It's not normal. It's just not. Um, nothing sits right about this. Nothing. Um, I did hear the father say that he spoke to um, his other baby mama. And she said, yeah, that he said he, he took a Xanax and that um, he had some lean with it. Okay, but I'm sure he's not the only one that took a Xanax because he was just chilling with his brother. I don't think the Xanax was the only thing that he took. I don't. I don't. I feel like the Fenty, because he literally said, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. All right. So real quick, this is on my YouTube channel. Um, I did this September 19th. That is before the autopsy was released to the public. Okay. And I believe it was at around 640. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So listen to this. I'm going to turn it up as loud as I can. Mike. Did Amber set you up? Oh. Did you just see that orb? Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, she did. Oh. What? He was drunk. Holy crap. It's shady. It's coming. Right now. Did you hear it? It said fentanyl. And I didn't want to write that because, again, nothing was released yet. But I made sure that I put that I believe I just heard the name of a drug. Okay? And that drug was fentanyl. Everybody in the comments heard it as well. Uh, seconds after 655, a whisper says fentanyl. And see how they block it out because you can't say certain kind of words. Um, that was two weeks ago. Okay? So let me go back to the other video that I was explaining about. So let's just listen to this. They are. So you got him on the floor. Yeah, I put him on the sofa. Because he was snoring. He was snoring. 
If he was actually alive at that point, that was probably that death gurgle. The gurgle, okay? Because uh, even uh, in the sessions I did, he even said he threw up and they were cleaning up. And the way she acted in the kitchen was very off. The, the officer speaking to her about the food and she walks into the other room and just ignores him. She looks around she turns in a circle, looks around on the floor, like, okay, did I get everything? And then takes off down the hallway to go into an opposite room. As the officer's speaking to her, totally just ignores his question. Okay. Oh, like, Lord, and I see he had food in his mouth. I'm like, how fall asleep with food in okay, mouth? Like People don't fall asleep with food in their mouth. There's obviously a problem. There's so many red flags so far. It was like three, four in the morning. Well, which one was it? Does, does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. Nah, not... nah. You heard that? He said nah, not like that. And then he switches real quick. With his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. Oh yeah, he sleeps hard. I would, I would call somebody if I ain't know. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it didn't look normal, I would have been there. Mm -hmm. But like I've seen. If it looked normal. So normal sleeping with food in your mouth with your eyes rolled back in the head, gurgling to the point you have to, hold on, he's about to say it, drag him to a sofa. No, no, no. And then, so you're telling me this whole time his eyes were open when this girl's watching his ear, his earring move up and down to breathe? That is the craziest thing I've ever heard anybody say in my lifetime. Okay, because first of all, when my hubby's sleeping, his earrings don't move. They don't move. My earrings don't move. Ain't nobody looking at an earring to see if, if I'm breathing. That was the dumbest thing I ever heard, and I'm getting so annoyed and angry because it's absurd. It's absurd. Here we go. I'm sorry. I sleep like that before. But with the mouths and stuff like that, yeah. So you saw the last one on the sofa or the floor? Sofa. They told me to put them on the floor. On the floor. But I put them on the sofa. Put them on the sofa. Okay, I'm the one that dragged him put him right here. Okay, okay. I'm the one that dragged him. Put him on in he even said that in the ses sessions that he was dragged. So you dragged him. So who knocked over all the stuff? Huh? Who knocked over all the mail and stuff? Huh? And when you covering him up, you didn't see his eyes wide open? Talk about he's cold to the touch, but it takes 12 hours, 12 hours for a body to become cold. Now, everybody's saying that um, Quan was still alive when the paramedics got there. No, he wasn't. I listened to the to the officer speaking. Let me see if I can find that one. Hold on. He wasn't. He, he was not. Um, mm -mm. Hold on. I got you. OK, so this is the officer. He actually called homicide. OK, because his gut. <laughs> he, this man was on point, but everybody else around him deterred him. Listen. Hey, I'm a son. I'm on a 47 call at 4680, and then four is drive southwest. Uh, got called out here. Uh, uh, girlfriend stated that um, this morning she woke up around like 645, 7 o'clock, to drop her kids off to school, and uh, she noticed that um, her uh, baby father was asleep on the couch. Uh, it was breathing like, very hard. Uh, covering him up, they didn't think nothing of it. Uh, so... She noticed him sleeping on the couch. She didn't think nothing of it. She covered him up, but didn't see his eyes wide open. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, she stated that when she came back, he was still breathing. Uh, she went to bed, uh, woke up around like 11 o'clock. And uh, when she went downstairs and uh, she touched him, and uh, she noticed that uh, his body was cold. Uh, that's what she called now. So his body's cold. So again, that, that typically takes 12 hours. So 8 to 12 hours for a body to get cold. Okay, now listen, keep going. I spoke to several people in the house, uh, including his brother and uh, his engineer. Uh, the brother stated that uh, they saw him on the floor at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning this morning. Uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, asleep, breathing. Um, uh, he was sleeping, breathing uh, with no issues. And uh, he picked him up and put him on, uh, on the couch. With no issues? His eyes were rolled in the back of his head. He had food in his mouth. He had to drag him to a couch. You moved the body. Hello. Um, then uh, that's what I got for now. Uh, he doesn't have uh, any underlying disease, uh, any medical issues or anything. And uh, I asked him, did he take anything? They said, no, he don't think he took anything. But the last thing that he actually ate was uh, some food that he ordered. 
He don't think he took anything. But you was just chilling with him. And apparently, according to the father, that the girl said he took something around 1 o'clock in the morning. Right? Well, if he took a Xanax around 1 o'clock in the morning and it had fentanyl in it, right? Because I'm about to prove something to you. If, if this is, let me go to that part after this. Um, but if, if the father's correct and the other baby mama that he spoke to that Quan was allegedly speaking to at 1 o'clock in the morning said that he took a Xanax and lean at the same time around 1 o'clock in the morning. If it was that Xanax that had the fentanyl in it, he would have died within the hour or at least had signs within the hour. But his brother said he was just with him and went upstairs. So it wasn't. He said he'd come back around 3, 4 in the morning. No, because I believe they put something either in his drink or in his food and that had the fentanyl. I believe there's two different things. Because that fentanyl is what did it. And if he would have took it then, he would have passed in front of everybody while he was on the phone with them, while he was talking to them, la 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 okay? And then there was another girl that is at his house, that shows up at his house, and she's acting all nervous and trying to get away from the cop and shit. And I'm telling you, she had everybody's party favors in that purse, okay? She's the one that was trying to get all that crap out the house because now the police are there. One of them, probably Amber, called and said, hey, come get the shit out now. Come get it. And I'll show you that too. I'll try to find the father's uh, thing too. Go ahead. Okay, you said you were where again? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, what's the name of the neighbor of the decedent? It's not deceased as of yet. Uh, they took him to the hospital. Uh, but when the gradient fire was seen, you're working on him. He, did, he, does appear, he doesn't appear to be alert or conscious. So they took him to the hospital. There's no There was no pause. I just I just messed that up. Hold on, there you go. There's no one I got for now. He, did, he, does appear, he doesn't appear to be alert or conscious. So they took him to the hospital. There's no pulse as of yet. So there will As of yet. There's no pulse as of yet. So there was no pulse when the, the paramedics got there. Like everybody was like, oh, he had a pulse when they got there. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Let me take it to the other videos. Hold on. I was tagging them, so I got to find them. So this is the father speaking. Hey, police department. Uh, you just need to look at where... Uh, Okay. Who's that? Yeah. Who's the person? Corey. What's your last name? Lamar. Who's the person? Lamar. Hold on. So, who else lives here other than his brother? He's in the house. Okay. Um, his engineer was here. Okay. And um, his um. Girl, for his kids, mom. His kid, mom. Now, is, can you show me where he was found at? Yep. Okay. Well, what happened? He, well, from what Dre tell me, he. Uh, from what Dre told him. Andre's his brother. Uh huh? Dre said. We got a couple more people coming. Just give me a okay. heads up, okay? Dre said. I'm going to tell you what Dre told me. Okay, you said Dre? Dre, yeah, that's his brother. Dre said they smoked the blood. Mm hmm. They came upstairs. Dre went upstairs to his room. Corn stayed in the kitchen. <laughs> so, Dre and him were, were chilling, smoking, right? Dre went upstairs, and Quan stayed in the kitchen. At some point or another, Dre came back downstairs, and he saw Quan on the floor in the kitchen. And then he come back downstairs, and Quan's laid out. And he picked Quan up, and when he picked him up, on uh, Dre actually said, I dragged him. To, uh. And when he um, picked him up, he said, Cool, cool breathing hard. Okay. He laid him on so He was snoring. I'm sorry, they were snoring. Mm -hmm. so, the death gurgle. Laid him on the sofa. He went back upstairs. And when he came, he said, He checked him and stuff. You know, like he was, um, said that he was, um, you know, breathing. But no mention of his eyes wide open rolled in the back of his head okay and said that um he laid him on the sofa and dre went to dre went to take the spring to the shop for me so then dre left the house and i missed three calls from, i missed three calls 
from Amber, who was his girl, who was baby mama. Mm -hmm. and, and she texted and she was like, please call me. Um, she was like, please call me. Um, I finna call the ambulance. So when she said that I was in Decatur, I immediately came here. And when I got here, they had him on a stretcher. And um, yeah, that thing on his chest, you know, with his arms. So, but, uh, Entertainer, man. He do drugs. <laughs> See, everybody's acting like they knew he do drugs, but they found nothing out of the ordinary that day. No, we didn't suspect he was having an OD. I just had to drag his lifeless body that's gurgling with his eyes stuck wide open to a couch, but I saw no red flags. Mm. Is it? Uh, is the blunt still in there that he smoked? They probably no. Nah, they probably smoked the blunt, bro. Smoked the blunt, but 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 um, another one of his kids, mom. This part, this part. I had, I talked to her since today, and she was on the phone with him with up until like one or two o'clock in the morning. She said. See, the thing about Fenty is it happens instantly, so that's how I know, right? That this this wasn't what he took when he was on the phone with her. It would have happened instantly as soon as it hit his system. She said that, um, she said he ordered some food. She said he told her he took a Xanax pill. Mm -hmm. And didn't he, in my session, he say something like that? Like, I, I, I wanted, I ordered food and they didn't want to give that food to me. Like, here, take this instead. Hmm. And while they were on the phone talking, he was drinking lean. And she was like, why is you drinking that lean? And you say you just took a kill. You follow what I'm saying? So I'm not yeah. But my thing is, if he took that fancy, the moment it hit his system, he would have been done. He would have been done. He would have been showing signs of distress immediately. And the fact that he didn't and he had time to kick cat with, um, Dre and and you know go walk over in here and there and there and over there and then you find them at four o'clock in the morning that's suspicious to me now there's one more girl let me try to find her this chick here i say she when you arrive at the house? that she has all the party favors in the bag because she arrived after his death okay so somebody had to have called her and say hey come here and as soon as she got there then she leaves why? Because she's probably picking up the party favors to get them out the house. Was it today or yesterday? Today. What time? Um, I'm not sure. Was it before or after the incident happened? It was like right after the incident happened. Okay. And, and how, are you related no. to the family? So she got there after the police were called. Who are, who, who are you friends with? I'm just friends with one of the people that stay in the house. Name. The name of them plays. Come on now. Quick. Quick. So you're quick. Oh, so it's Quick's friend. So who's Quick? Is that the engineer? Okay. And you don't remember what time you arrived? No. I have no idea what has transpired before or after. I was just in the room. Okay. Now she was just in the room. Hmm. Did you hear anything that might stand out? Any commotion or anything like that? Okay. Anybody else? Where are you at? She no. have a bag in her hand. Did you did you spend a night here or did you no, you say you say you came here? It's a bag. Okay. When did you when did you arrive at the house? So in this video, because somebody tagged me in this a few times, but um, she's holding a bag and she's just not acting right. Hold on. I didn't find it, but I just found this one. If I die, knock on wood, it's gonna be from at home. Or, or it's gonna be from at home. Or from me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Catching a nut, going out that way. Mm -hmm. If I die, knock on wood, it's going to be from at home. Or he already knew. Hold on. I'm, I'm still trying to find the girl where they show the bag. Here it is. She was trying to dip. Ma'am. Yes. All right, you understand something happened, and we're here to just investigate. That's it. That's fine. Only... I have nothing. Okay, I understand. Nothing. I'm asking you. See that bag? I have a Yorkie like that, too. Um, But that bag? <laughs> I'm telling you the way she acting, she got party favors up in there. Some question, that's it. All right? I mean, you're walking away from me, I'm trying to talk I'm to you. Lying. 
Okay. Okay. Which you spell your first name for me? K I A R A. K I A R A. Okay. What is your last name? Brownie. What's your date of birth, Miss Brownie? What's your phone number, ma'am? Body passed away upstairs. We are here to investigate that. And we talked about we, we, Yeah, I understand that, but we have got the information from everybody else in there that's been in this house. Anybody that's been in this house came and gone from this house. We're going to get information from them and talk to them, okay? Okay. All right. As simple as that. Yeah. You drive a vehicle? Huh? You drive a vehicle? Yeah. What's your, what's your vehicle? Which one is yours? Uh, the Honda Civic. The Honda Civic. Ma'am. That's crazy, right? Well, there was one more thing I said I wanted to show you, and I can't remember now. Um, shoot, give me a minute to think. Okay, so this person saying, on the police call, she said the room he sleeps in gets cold. Mm -hmm. So that's why she put a blanket on him. Um, then the police said he was still alive. What a lie you, what lie you caught her in? Uh, we just proved that. Do I have to show you again? Hold on, I'll show you again. Okay, what's the name of the neighbor of the decedent? It's not deceased as of yet. Uh, they took him to the hospital. Uh, but when Grady and Fire were on scene, you were working on him. He, did, he, does appear, he doesn't appear to be alert or conscious. So they took him to the hospital. There's no pulse as of yet. So there will there's no pulse as of yet. Meaning there was no pulse. They've been trying to get a pulse, but there was no pulse. So I don't know where you get in that the police said he's alive. He had a pulse. No. No, he didn't. So the lie I call her in is that his body was cold. And it takes 12 hours, okay? A dead body typically takes around 12 hours to feel cold to the touch. 24 hours to cool, to be cold to the core, okay? It takes around 12 hours for a human body to be cold to the touch. To the touch, okay? Now... Let me just think. Even if the house was cold, she put a blanket on him, which would keep the heat in, like a cocoon, right? When you put a blanket on, your temperature rises and it keeps the heat in, okay? So even with him being cold to the touch, he should have been even, like, warmer than what she's explaining. Unless he was dead hours prior meaning like three four o'clock in the morning three to four five six seven eight nine ten like i said before previously in this video about eight hours yes i could see it being a little cooler than usual and when they were on that 911 phone call and you heard him plop him on the floor pop, pop, you heard him hit his head i heard it the way she was didn't want to do CPR because she knew he was long gone, long gone. It was almost like she was disgusted that they asked her to do CPR on him. Now that I know there's a third gir girl there, Quan said in a session I did, I thought it was two, but it was four. Oh, I got the chill saying that. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me your thoughts, please, please, because I can't nobody convince me otherwise that this was an accident, especially even though they're saying he took Xanax and he was drinking. OK, well, then something should have happened to him as soon as that shit hit his system with the fentanyl. Hello. We all seen the videos of how fentanyl works instantaneously. <laughs> 